number of labs are going to use a drop counter. Before I start talking about that, always, 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 we have on our nitrile gloves and our safety glasses and wearing the appropriate attire for lab, closed-toed shoes and no big, bulky, flowing clothing items. Okay, so the drop counter is really useful because it's going to basically measure the volume for us, which is really convenient. And there's a little IR sensor in the path, sort of rectangular path cut away in the middle of this black brick. I have two stopcocks on my plastic syringe. I'm going to adjust the flow rate, so how many drips per second with the top, and then the bottom is just going to be on or off. So off meaning that horizontal bar, both are off. I'm going to open the bottom, meaning a vertical bar. And then I'm going to start slowly opening the top one. Every time there's a drip, you'll see a, a green light flash. And this is a good rate, about two or three drips per second. If you have a green light constantly on, that means there's a splash or something blocking and it's not going to work. All right, so this is a pretty good rate, but I'm not going to touch that top stopcock. I'm going to close just the bottom and there's a stubborn, stubborn drip on there. Get out of there. Okay. All right, and I know I didn't just leave some paper towel residue or a splash because I don't have a green light on. All right, so now that I've set the drip rate, now I need to measure the volume and then I'll have to calibrate. I'll have to tell the computer what that volume was. So I'm gonna go up to my setup, drop counter. I wanna make sure that these boxes have X's, that it's gonna zero automatically when I start. It's gonna have a drop count. It will count the number of drops. And I'm gonna tell it the fluid volume. I'm going to click Calibrate, I'm going to open, I'm going to make sure that it's going into my graduated cylinder, which is how I'm going to measure the amount of liquid. Oh, but some of my drips are going outside, so that means I have to stop, because if some of my drips are going outside, that means that I'm not collecting all of the volume. So I'm gonna start all over. I always calibrate my drop counter with just the DI water from that plastic faucet. All right, I'm gonna try that again. My drip rate is still, still good. So I'm gonna click calibrate. And then I'm gonna turn it on using my bottom stopcock only. Make sure that those drips are being caught in the graduated cylinder. And in the book, it has you go to 10. You can do five. You just want to make sure that you're going to measure accurately. I think I'll go to four. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to tell it four mils, click OK. And then it's going to be able to divide the number of drops by the total volume, so it's actually calculated how, what the volume is for each drop, which is really convenient. So it's not something you have to record. The instrument does it for you. So that's how to use a drop counter.